hi guys welcome back to the channel today i am lillian so if you're just joining us you're welcome please click the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you receive a notification anytime i post a new video so guys i am back on instagram okay i'm very very much active on instagram so if you're here to follow me on instagram please follow me on instagram as dress to fit by lillian that's my instagram handle thank you so much for your support so today we'll be learning how to make this twist dress it's actually a simple twist dress okay so this is all we are going to be learning today thank you so much guys for your support i really do appreciate thank you so much so let's get into it hi guys so for this particular tutorial we'll be needing um a poly fabric okay you can actually use crepe okay so if you have crepe you can actually use crepe okay i have about two years here so guys for pattern you'll be needing your full front basic skirt okay this is my full front so this is my waist to hip and then from my hip to my knee which is 24 that is what i use as my knee length and then i added extra three inches okay I added one inch as my allowance okay so this is it for the front as you can see on the side i did not add allowance at the side that is because the fabric i'm using is actually stretchy okay so that is why i'm not adding allowance okay so for the back pattern for the skirt you'll also be needing both both side of your back pattern okay because of the style we are actually about to create so you'll be needing both okay so it's the same thing actually for the front the same length this is the three inches i added for my name and then this is the full length okay for the upper part you'll be needing your full front basic bodies okay so this is my full front okay so you'll be needing your full front basic bodies so, so this is my chest line and then this is my waistline i added half inch as i said allowance as you can see by this side i still did not add allowance like i said before because my material is actually stretching okay so this is the back pattern okay so this is my zip allowance i threw then my zip allowance only and at the side i did not add allowance also okay so guys what we are going to do now we're going to go ahead and then style this whole pattern together so let's go ahead and do that so guys we'll be starting with the front pattern okay so guys the first thing we are going to do remember your shoulder to waist for the front is actually not the same with your shoulder to waist for the back okay so my from my shoulder to waist for the front is 16 why my shoulder to waist for the back is 14 and a half so 16 minus 14 and a half you left with one and a half inch so i'm going to take that off from my front pattern okay to make it equal so remember this is my allowance so whatever i'm doing i'm starting from my actual waistline okay so from that point i'm going to go out by one and a half inch okay so this is it when you're done doing that then from that point you add back your half inch this is now our new waistline so what we are going to do now we are going to cut this part off because we will be needing it this is it so the next thing we are going to do now we are going to go ahead and then fold your pattern into two okay so go ahead fold your pattern into two okay so when you're done go ahead and then open it up okay so we already have a guideline which is the center line so what you're going to do you're going to roll it across okay okay so when you're done rolling across what you're going to do remember we already used three inches as our depths okay so what you're going to do now from that point so whatever you are doing remember you are making use of your actual measurements and not your allowance okay so from that point i'm going to go down by four inch okay so on my center line i'm going to go down by four inch okay and then from my actual measurement remember these are allowance so from my actual measurement which is this point i'm going to go up by two inches like this okay so i went down by four inches and then i went up by two inch so what i'm going to do i'm going to take my straight ruler first of all from my actual measurements i'm going to connect it to that four inches and went down with here that the next thing i'm going to do i'm going to take it from this point to that two inches here 
okay so just take it down to that two inches like this this is it so guys what we are going to do now we are going to go ahead and then add half inch allowance here you're done you're going to go ahead and then cut that like this so we won't be needing this i'm going to throw this away we won't be needing it so this is all that we'll be needing for this particular front pattern so we are going to go over to the damp parts now and then style the damp parts so guys we are going to go ahead now and then style the, the front pattern okay so just like we did on the on the busy body we are going to do the same thing with the skirt so you are going to also fold this into two equal half and then open it up okay so as you can see we already have our mark which is indicating the center line okay so what you're going to do now you're going to take your ruler and then create a line okay so just rule the line to make it visible so what you're going to do now what i want to share with you this point actually depends on you it depends on what you want okay so you can either use this side or you can use this side depends on you so remember this is our hip line so what i want to do from my hip line i want to come down by six inches okay okay so like i said this particular part actually depends on you it depends on what you want okay you can come down by seven inches you can come down by four inches you can even go up to whatever you want from your hip line so it's your choice okay so i want to come down by six inches you already see my finished look so if you like it use six inches if you think it's a bit too revealing then go ahead and use seven inches okay so you can actually use seven inches so you can come down by seven inches okay so if you think what i'm wearing is a bit too revealing go ahead and then use seven inches okay you want so you're going to come over here so whatever you want you're going to go in by that inches you can choose to use three inches you can choose to use two and a half you can choose to use whatever you want okay so for me i think i'm okay with two and a half inch okay so i'm going to mark my two and a half inch there and then i'm going to use my curve ruler okay so i'm going to use my curve ruler and then i'm going to create a curve okay so this is it so i marked two and a half inch before but i actually change this to two inch inches okay so, okay so i used two inches instead of two and a half inch so what we are going to do now this is where we are going to cut off to do now i want you to add your allowance okay so i'm going to be using one inch as my allowance okay so you can use whatever you want but for me i'm using one inch okay so what i'm going to do now i'm going to go ahead and cut out okay so this is it so you're going to bring back your back pattern now okay so just bring your back pattern okay so remember it's going to be like this okay so it's going to be like this so all you need to do is to come over here okay okay so we don't actually need this just take this off so this is what we need so all you need to do is actually to match them together like this okay so put them together so put them together like this remember we already added allowance here so all you need to do is just to use whatever you are using if it is pencil by rule whatever you are using just go ahead and then mark it out like this okay so mark it out to the end and then when you're done just take your cover line then create it so take your cover and connect the points together okay so when you're done converting what you're going to do you're going to go ahead and then cut it out okay guys so this is it for this okay so this is it for so what we are going to do now we're going to go ahead and then cut out on our fabric this is my center front so i'm going to go ahead and then cut out okay guys so this is it for the skirt pattern 
I'm going to set this aside and then we are going to cut the back pattern. So guys, I am going to cut out the back pattern. Okay, so remember when joining, it's going to be right side facing the right side like this. Okay. Okay, so remember it's going to be like this. So I'm going to go ahead now and then cut out. Okay, so this is for the back pattern. So guys, for the center front, I placed my pattern on fold. Okay, that is because I'm cutting two pieces. Okay, so I placed my pattern on fold. So I folded the two two because I want to cut two at the go. So I'm going to go ahead and then cut out. Okay guys, so this is it. This is it. So I'm going to mark the wrong side. Okay, so this is it. So I'm going to set this aside. Guys, so this is the back pattern. I'm going to go ahead and cut out the back pattern. This is it for the back pattern. So guys, what we are going to do now is my front skirt pattern. Okay, so we are going to cut out interfacing. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to be using 4 inch. Okay. Go ahead, use your paper scissors and then cut out. Okay, so this is it for the front, the back pattern. I'm going to be using about, um, I think, 3 inches. Okay, I'm okay with 3 inches. Okay, guys, so this is it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut this out of my fabric. Okay, guys, so this is it. You are going to go over to your ironing board. So this is my front pattern. This is my front piece. Okay, so this is my front piece. Remember, it was two pieces we cut out. Okay, so this is the front. So what I'm going to do, I already mark out my half inch. Remember, I added half inch as an allowance here. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and then I'm going to hem this by half inch. So if you are the type that don't like hemming gum that you want to stitch, just go ahead, fold in your half inch and then go ahead, use, go to over to your machine and then stitch. Okay, so for me, I'm going to be using hemming gum. So it's a matter of choice, okay? So if you don't like hemming gum, go ahead and then sew off your half inch, okay? Okay, guys, so this is it. Okay, so I'm going to also do the same thing here. Okay. So I'm going to also mark half inch here. Okay guys, so this is it. So I'm going to go ahead and then iron out. So guys, this is it. Okay, so this is the inside. Okay, so this is the inside. Okay, so this is the outside. Okay, so as you can see, I hem by half inch. I have my half inch okay so if you are the type that don't like hemming gum go ahead and then sew off your half inch okay but i think i prefer hemming gum okay so this is it so what you're going to do now you're going to go ahead and then do the same thing with this particular pattern with this particular piece so go ahead do the same thing with this piece so guys this is the front piece okay so this is the front piece okay so what we are going to do now you are going to take one of your front piece and then you're going to fold it like this to the armhole side like this okay then when you are done doing that go ahead and then pin down you can actually use any side you can use this side you can use this side it's the same thing okay so this is it so when you're done pinning down okay so what you're going to do you're going to go ahead and then you're going to mark at half inch okay so just mark at half inch like this okay so just mark at half inch like that so what we are going to do now we are going to go ahead and then top stitch okay so just top stitch like this okay so what you are going to do you are going to top stitch so stitch from this point down to this half inch okay you are going to stop at this half inch so stitch from here to this half inch so i'll go ahead and do that and then i'll bring it back okay guys so this is it okay so this is it after sewing Okay, just like you are top stitching on the half inch, 
that will hem with and then i stop at half inch here so what i'm going to do remember our front piece is actually two okay so this is the other side so what i'm going to do i'm going to fold it at the edge like this okay so i'm going to pass it through the half inch so i'm going to pass it through the half inch space that i left here okay so like i said i actually have a video where i actually stitch so i will drop the link on the description box so you can actually check that video out so i'm going to bring it out from this point okay so i'm going to bring it out like this okay so what i'm going to do i'm going to turn it over like this okay so i'm going to turn it over like this okay so i'm also going to go ahead and then pin it down okay guys so this is it so what i'm going to do now just like i did with this okay so i'm going to go ahead and also top stitch and then stop very close to the end part okay make sure you don't stitch on this side okay just stop very close just like you left that half inch okay so stitch very close to this other side okay so i'll go ahead and do that and then i'll bring it back so like i said if you don't know how to stitch this or you're actually finding it difficult i have a i have a video a complete video where i actually made this before so i will include the link on the description box so that you check it out okay oh so guys so this is it after sewing okay so this is the other side okay so this is it after sewing okay okay so this is it after sewing so what you are just going to do go ahead and turn it down like this okay so this is it so what you are going to do go ahead bring your center front okay your skirt pattern bring the center front okay so this is it okay so what you are going to do remember we we'll cut that half inch as interfacing this is the right side okay so this is the wrong side okay so what you're going to do the interfacing you cut out you're going to go ahead and then join it right side facing the right side and then mark out half inch so what you're going to do now you're going to go ahead and then join by half inch okay so go ahead join by half inch so i'll go ahead and do that and then i'll bring it back this is it after sewing okay remember it was right side facing the right side so i turn it over to the wrong side like this okay so this is it so i actually use i added hemming gum to this piece and then i iron it on it okay to hold the fabric and the interfacing together so what we are going to do you're going to bring your front piece your upper bodies Okay, you're going to bring the upper piece so this is it so what you're going to do this one we have here before this stitch allowance that you are seeing here so what you're going to do you're going to place it like this okay so place it like this okay so place it like this and then go ahead and pin down so you're also going to come over here you're going to do the same thing okay so when you're done pinning this is what it should be looking like okay so we are going to go ahead and then set this aside okay so just set this aside for now get your back piece okay so i already added my interfacing as you can see okay so i already added my interfacing and then when i'm done i'm going to use this hemming gum to actually hold it together okay, so i got carried away and then i went to add hemming gum and it down so I literally skipped my mind that we are going to join the down part. So, hence, you are seeing this whitish thing at the down there. So, it's actually my mistake, okay? So, what we are going to do next now, we are going to join it right side facing the right side. So, I marked my wrong side. So, this is my wrong side. So, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to turn it like this, okay? Right side facing the right side, okay? so i'm going to go ahead and then pin this down okay so this is it okay so what we are going to do we are going to go ahead and then join by half inch okay so go ahead and then sew by half inch so we are also going to do the same thing here okay so this is the wrong side this is the wrong side so i'm just going to turn it like this this is my right side so right side facing the right side like this okay 
okay so what i'm going to do i'm going to go ahead and then join by half inch okay i'll also join this by half inch so this is it after joining by half inch okay so this is it and then this is the other side okay so what we are going to do now so what you are going to do now you're going to get your front your front piece okay so this is my front piece okay remember we already pinned down at this point so what you are going to do you are going to turn this to the right side and then turn it over to the right side like this okay Okay, so what you're going to do now, you're going to get your front piece. This is my front piece. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to match the shoulder together. Okay, so just match the shoulder together. So what you're going to do, you're going to pin down like this. Okay, so just go ahead and pin down like this. Okay, so when you're done doing that, you're going to come over to the side. Okay, so come over to the side, do the same thing, pin down. Okay, so just come over to the side, pin down also. Okay. So arrange your, your interfacing very well. Make sure it's actually aligning with your main material. Okay, so you're going to come over here. Make sure it's also aligning. Okay, so this is it for this side. So you're going to come over to this other side. So what you're going to do now, you're going to go ahead okay and then join on the shoulder by half inch okay join on the shoulder by half inch so whatever you added as your side allowance is what you are going to use to join so if you added one inch as your side allowance go ahead and add and use one inch so if you added half inch go ahead and use half inch so whatever you added is what you're going to use remember i did not add allowance to mine because i said it was stretchy as you can see so I'm going to go ahead and then sew off either half inch or one inch. So I'll go ahead and do that, then I'll bring it back. This is it after sewing. Okay, so this is it. Okay, so this is it after joining. Okay, so what you're going to do, you're going to go ahead and then use whatever sleeve you want. So guys, so this is it. Okay, so what you're going to do, you're going to decide whatever sleeve you want because this particular dress, you don't need too much going on on the sleeve actually okay so you don't need too much going on on the sleeve so you are going to go ahead and decide whatever sleeve you want and then fix your zip okay when you are done fixing your zip just go ahead remember we left that one inch and then hem by one inch okay so this is it for this video fix your zip and then whatever sleeve you want go ahead and fix it so this is the end of this video so i'm going to share my finished look with us when i'm done so thank you so much for watching so guys this is the final look so i just went ahead to fix my zip and then i hemmed the side as you can see my armhole i just hemmed the armhole by half inch okay so i did not fix sleeve so thank you so much for watching if you create this please tag me on instagram thank you so much